This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how blistering fast the Tesla Model Y rear-wheel drive from Giga Berlin is charging. It has the BYD Blade battery, and unlike the CATL battery, this one charges a lot faster. Uh, well, it has a flatter curve. Okay, so and I also include Auto 3 because it's also BYD, it has a blade battery, and then Ionic 6 which is 800 volt, you know, the so called superior technology. And then, uh, well, the Model Y with a CATL battery hit 170 kilowatt for just a split second before it started throttling, but then you see that the BYD blade battery can maintain 170 kilowatt a lot longer. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find the uh, OBD port uh, when, I was, uh, when I bought that uh, car, but then I found out afterwards the sexy button guys that told me that it is in the front. Uh, center console uh, to the left of it and uh, yeah that's why I had to film the um, um, the Ionti screen so it's slightly misleading because the kilowatt you see there versus uh, car uh, the Scamma Tesla the Scamma Tesla shows you what goes into the battery whereas the the Ionti screen shows you what is pulled from the charger but you see that we can actually maintain 170 kilowatt all the way to around 100 uh, to around 48 percent before it starts throttling this is insanely nice and flat um, Compared to the Auto 3, which is also based on the Blade battery, it charges a lot slower than Tesla. So for some reason, they can actually go that uh, high. I'm not sure why, but um, okay. So we are still in some kind of battle here. Uh, Ionic 6 is actually leading, but just see how how much faster the Model Y is charging now versus before, right? But okay, so the the new one uh, with the B Blade battery is um, around two kilowatt hours smaller, even though they are rated at 60 kilowatt hour both, but the net capacity is a little bit lower. On the blade battery but uh, actually right now ionic 6 is lagging a little bit behind hey what the heck why is model y going so far okay it has a smaller battery that's true but we are looking at the percent here anyway like we always do and then the other three is charging so much slower than all the other ones even though they also had the, the blade battery well, wait a minute which car is it about to lead now and um, somehow it lo looks like the the B tesla is trying to get the lead Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, there's going to be um, uh, the, the Korean siesta. The, the, the Korean siesta just occurred. It happens around 80-something percent, and the Ionic is down. It's down, and then Model Y is taking a nice lead right now. He's going ahead of the Ionic. Oh, no. What the heck is going on there? Come on. when the How long is the siesta going to last again? I don't remember. It feels like it lasts forever. But uh, because of that uh, siesta, then the Model Y is taking a nice lead, and he's about to go for 90 percent. There, the Ionic is back on the track, but still. That's not enough because the Model Y is already at 88%. <laughs> what happened to the 800 volt architecture, the superior system? There, Model Y hit 90%. Model Y won. Tesla won. Tesla is the king. Okay, bonus. Let's go for 100% then. There's no way Tesla is going to win to 100%. Uh, wow, look at that. Actually, <laughs> by the time, yeah, okay, Model y, the, the CATL battery is about to hit 80%. Oh, Auto 3 is so far behind all the other ones. Wait, wait, what the heck, man? Look how fast the, mo the blade battery is charging. It's already at 94%. 95%? Ionic 6 is only at 92%. This is insanely fast, man. Even past 9 Look at that. Like, we are almost at 100% now. It's still taking insane speeds compared to before. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, look at that. Before, it was <laughs> quite slow. Like, before the the CATL battery has still not hit 90% yet and then um the blade battery is about to hit 100% already. It's way far ahead of Ionic 6. There's, at this point, there's no way the Ionic 6 is going to catch up unless Tesla goes dog slow towards the end. They tend to do that. Uh, well, actually, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, Tesla. You only have 1% left. Ionic is catching up now. He's at 96% almost. Uh, <laughs> shit. Why, why does it feel like it lasts forever now towards the end here? The, the, the blade battery. Come on, come on. You're, you've been camping at 99% forever now. Oh, no, it's not throttling. The Tesla stopped throttling oh shit i only see this is coming tesla is at eight kilowatts seven kilowatts what the heck man it's gonna die out this is typical tesla it goes dog slow towards the end and then i only see it's gonna about to catch uh, tesla come on tesla you're almost there you're almost there i only is at 98 percent already come on shit you're losing your lead what the heck man is taking two kilowatts towards the end here. is i only gonna win over tesla come on no 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 you're not, not gonna let that happen come on shit i only get 99 percent come on tesla what the heck are you doing are you doing some uh, balancing or some shit over here man and even the the catl battery is starting to catch up here towards the end uh oh she it seems like that lead that tesla has is uh, gonna be lost now 
Shit, man. I was doing the one kilowatt dance now. Tesla. Come on, come on. Ionic is already at 99.5%. Ionic is going to take the win over Tesla. Shit. Wait, wait. Come on, come on. What about Auto 3? Auto, even Auto 3 is coming now. The, the Blade battery takes forever to go to 100. Oh, the Blade battery won right in front of the Ionic 6. <laughs> That's a dual win for Tesla. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then uh, right in front of the Model Y. You can say, yeah, okay. Uh, Tesla went to 99% first uh, way. I mean, the, yeah. The Blade battery went first before the other ones. And then just going to show you guys that um, the Auto 3 um, charger is way slower. Still not done yet. Yeah, actually, the, the C8, yeah, but uh, it's doing also some weird shit now. Uh, also, towards the end, it goes a little bit slower. Uh, I think, actually, did we hit 100? Yeah, we hit 101%. Um, this is just something displayed on... Uh, uh, not in car, I was going in. Um, Sky My Tesla is always like this but then i gave up i stopped the model y uh, catl battery and then now we're just waiting for um, auto 3 to finish but you see that also yeah the auto 3 is also going fast towards the end it has a nice and flat curve and also i think it has a little buffer at the top that's why it actually finishes to 100 relatively fast and it doesn't do that one kilowatt dance unlike the byd from tesla uh, but uh, just to show you in comparison that the Auto 3, which is also based on the same, or I mean, maybe not the exact same uh, battery cell, whatever, but it's also blade battery, but it charges a lot slower than Tesla. So somehow Tesla is able to push the limits and go way faster than, uh, than BYD themselves with their own batteries. Uh, do we wait for the end? Nah, okay, whatever. And now I also did a cold gate test or, you know, which is that I will then let the car cool down to see how slow it charges. Because this is a disadvantage with LFP battery. It's sensitive for heat. And we've seen this before with the Tesla and CATL battery that when the battery is cold, it charges dog slow until it heats up. And then it's okay. So um, unfortunately, I let the car sit in the garage and then it didn't cool down enough. Obviously, so when I got over to Ionity, I had 15 to 20 degrees roughly. I was thinking, okay, um, I have limited time with the battery because, uh, I mean, with the, with the car, because it was a Tesla press car, so I had to return it after just four days. So I just had to go for it and I filmed the Ionity screen and um, to my big surprise, um, it was charging a lot faster. I was like, hey, wait, wait, it actually hit 170 kilowatt even with coal, I would call it coal-ish battery. Uh, and also when you see the kilowatt difference is uh, because um, this is what it's pulled from the charger. So there might be some hot cooling going on here that pulls extra power. But you see that with a hot battery, it would throttle at around 35%. Um, but uh, you actually saw the coal session when I did the comparison with the other cars because it was charging a lot faster. So um, yeah, when I t did the first First test with a hot uh, battery. Uh, this is what I assume would be the case for most Teslas. I test right. I would heat up the battery to around 30 degrees Celsius or something, maybe even higher. Tesla prefers actually around 40, 45 degrees to get the best speed. But it seems like actually the BYD battery overheats. This is also what we've seen in. Um, well, uh, in Auto 3 and also other BYDs I tested in the past that they actually overheat even though the cooling is running at fairly high speed. And that could actually be the case for Tesla also. But it seems like at least Tesla is trying to cool as, as aggressive as they can. But um, yeah, you see that the cold session is faster. And now towards the end, you will see that hot session is starting to catch up a little bit on the cold session. But um, it's quite clear that the cold session is a lot faster. See, we already hit 90% at 27 minutes. But then, yeah, so the hot battery was uh, around one minute slower to 90%. And, but then towards the end here, towards 100%, you will see that there'll be a slight shift in power. You see that now suddenly the hot session, which was charging slower in the beginning is starting to uh, have has a little flatter curve towards the end so actually the hot battery is starting to catch up on the cold battery uh, not that important uh, i mean if you have to choose you probably want to have cold battery anyway so but in 1000 kilometer challenge i was hammering it and also i noticed that it did not preheat the battery before any fast charging so that was a bit weird but probably because the bms knew that it didn't want to be that hot but actually i was uh, when every time i entered uh, the fast charger at 1000 kilometer challenge the battery was probably hot uh, i was guessing around 30 degrees celsius and it was i was actually getting the left session not the right session and you see that um, i also checked again uh, the battery was quite hot during the session it hit almost 60 degrees celsius and then that was probably 
Uh, I'm guessing that's what happened during 1000 km challenge. I would arrive with, let's say, 30 degrees uh, at the low end, and then maybe it was uh, over 50 degrees in the high end. I'm not sure. Or, but yeah, and then it throttled at around 30, 35 uh, percent simply because the max temp was too high. I never seen so big delta between min and max before in a Tesla battery. They are usually kept quite uh, narrow, uh, usually only one to as high as four degrees Celsius. But this is the highest I've ever seen. So it's probably because it's the blade battery has some limitations, but still. So um, now you guys have seen that, that uh, um, when it comes to uh, uh, blade battery here in Tesla, you actually want to arrive cold rather than hot and here you see that uh, yeah um, the the hot session has a nice peak in the beginning and then it just plummets and yeah you can see that it probably reduced the speed because of uh, throttling or I mean uh, overheating of the battery and then it was able to recover um, almost the same level as the other one you see so it kind of follows there but then compared to the, the other one here, the, the old one, you see that um, the, the one with blade battery charges a lot faster. So it's just really impressive. And every time people see a nice flat charging curve, they'll be like, ha, ha, ha. yeah, how much is that going to degrade the battery? Well, you know, LFP batteries, they have the property that they can resist lots of heat. It's, it's quite robust, the LFP versus other types of batteries, other chemistry. So even if you are punishing the battery like this, uh, it shouldn't mean that you will uh, degrade the battery that much, you know. They, they, people have known it for a long time that LFP batteries, they have way higher cycle rating and all that. But of course, uh, the disadvantage of LFP is that it has low uh, energy density. Uh, and, okay, it has disadvantages, but also, yeah. So it would be interesting to test one for a while and let's see well actually well i can't test that but at least i could try maybe a degradation test of uh, the blade battery eventually after a couple of years to see how much it degrades because we already seen in the past that tesla batteries at least the one with the nmc or yeah or the one with the cobalt types they tend to degrade a little bit fast and also we have seen this with other brands also that they tend to degrade fast i think it was a volkswagen so yeah but yeah, it's really impressive to see, man, uh, blade battery. Uh, how the heck can you get it? Uh, well, you can hope that you get the Win XP7. <laughs> no, but uh, as from what we heard now, uh, Model Y rear-wheel drive from Giga Berlin, they get the blade battery. But then uh, long range, uh, they simply don't get them because they need higher energy density. So then you have to go for the cobalt types. And then uh, what about the one from uh, Shanghai? Well, yeah, we don't know, but uh, yeah. If you can get one from Berlin, go for it. It kicks ass for a lord. Okay, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.